uh, to VTTV Live. I'm Travis. I'm here with Sung Ho today. How you doing, Sung Ho? Good. How's everyone doing today? Uh, we're actually, well, it's not our first coverage of the new Age of Ascension set for Keyforge, but it is the release event here at 401 Games in Toronto. And uh, we're jumping into round one with Jalisa up against John Hahn. John ha has played a lot of Keyforge. He was here last week at the pre-release event. Um, so I, I think he's probably opened a few decks at this point. Okay. Uh, oh, going right into the decks. Uh, so, I mean, for both Sung Ho and I, not too familiar with a lot of the new cards yet. I've seen some of them. Titan Librarian over Logos on the John side is uh, one of my favorite new cards, letting you archive at the end of your turn. Uh, anything else interesting that I recognize? Nothing that's jumping out at me yet. Julissa led off with a oh, soldier a to flowers. Nice soldier to flowers. He's got over there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it looks like uh, Zizix. Uh, Shockworm. Stun it, yeah. And a Zizix Harvester. So hopefully Victor can get us some of these cards up. So we got some Bromnar action going on. Oh wow, that's cool. So it gets stronger and it's just like an attack. Yep. Mars, Logos, and Shadow. That's cool. And then we got Mars, Brobnar, and Untamed. Okay. Ooh, I remember some of these cards from back then. This might as well reef, right? Just to get more. Uh-huh. Well, that's a pretty cool card where you get to just stun a... <clears throat> Non-friendly character, yeah. War Grump is here. Well, then now, like, Josh is going to pick Mars again and just stun this big boy. Yeah. So. It's, was she forced to pick uh, Brabner there? Sorry? It seems odd to have picked Brabner, given the limited uh, options she had there. Mm. Nope. Looks like an Ashes player there with that token. Yeah. That's such a cool ability. So we got a Mind Worm, a elusive creature before fight. It uh, The creature might f deals damage equal to its power to each of its neighbors. So, Oh, that's interesting. So it's, it's like basically a, splash, a little yeah. bit of mind control. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got armor, yeah. Yeah, let's see if she has a board wipe, which could really use here. It? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Papaka, Anga. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and these are the two. These were the two cards named after um, Richard Garfield's children, I think. And one it has an effect on all the creatures to the right, and one has <laughs> an effect on all the creatures all to the, the left. left. All right. All right. Whoa, that's cool. Oh my. So you gotta go after that one first. Makes sense. Which can be rough if you put it beside a taunt, but 
Those are some very interesting cards. Like, when you do this, I get it. Things like that. Interesting. Alright, well, much more even board state now. Mm -hmm. John will start his turn by forging a key. I feel like at this point... Yeah, you just keep calling March, right? You, just keep you do. Getting. It depends what if you have or have yeah. anything in your hand you really want to use. Yeah. But, I mean, you can reap for another key, so yeah, that it's a pretty effective turn, even if you're not playing any cards. Although, I guess you're giving away Amber when you reap now because of the uh, Darna. Or not the other one. Gotcha. So it's gonna. There's a lot of Mars creatures, so it would be up to six Amber oh, captured no. from your side onto one of your creatures. So yeah. it's kind of like a delayed steal. I see. So once that creature dies, it just goes right. John gets the... all the Amber. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. That hurts. Wow. Puts John back in check, able to forge a key for the next turn. John Zex cool working card. real fast here. Still needs to pull uh, the extra power off of... To fight one of the Dharma? That one, yeah. we'll worry about that when it matters. And then gains an amber for filler. Yep. Oh. Oof. And then check again. So it's and up to 12 amber, so. I mean, this would be a beautiful point. If Bait and Switch was actually in this set, it would be a beautiful moment for it. Yes. There you go. Just catching up there, removing two extra power counters. <laughs> Rob Nair, yeah. Yeah, so Big wow. Bang Bang, before he fights, he deals uh, five to each creature that he fights, uh, to the neighbors of the creature he fights. Oh, I see. So it just blows up and just hits. So it looks like it'll be a, a, a turn or two too late for that to be uh, super meaningful. Wow. Yeah, so... Reaping the Agent Human again, setting the thing. It's not often you play a game only playing cards from one house. Yes. But uh, I got, looks like this will be pretty quick. I don't think she has anything to steal enough. Yeah, that, yeah. that Agent Human was such a key card. Just keep stunning and then just... Uh, oh. Well, yeah, but you, just, you need to build your board beyond the one creature. Yes. Uh, but she just she doesn't look like she ever had the hand to yeah. really make a, a lot of inroads. There was there was that one turn where she activated uh, Brobner again, where maybe there was something else. But she's looking to, to make sure she doesn't have anything that's going to uh, help her recover, but I think it's done. All right. Okay, and then it's quick. Going. A pretty strong merge.